Hello everyone, my name is Parth and I'm going to be giving you a brief overview on reading primary research papers. So you're in a lab, now what? Well imagine the circle as the breadth of human knowledge. The line represents everything we know to this point. In primary school, you learn a little. In high school, you learn some more. And when you're in college, you gain a concentration. That's why there is a point. When you do research, you get a more in-depth understanding of a specific field. And when you read research papers, you get to the boundary of human knowledge. Laboratory research is at the forefront of human knowledge. It is pushing the boundary of what we know. As a result, it's your responsibility to get caught up on the research your lab does, as well as research that other labs do in the same subject area. Once you know everything that you can within a subject, it is possible to start expanding on that research and increase the realm of human knowledge. To do this, it is important to read research papers. At first, it may seem difficult, but with practice, you will get the hang of it. Some guidelines to reading a research paper include reading critically. Make sure you are always asking questions to yourself while you read. What is the overall goal the author is trying to convey? Typically, this can be found at the end of the abstract. Why was this technique used instead of another technique? Highlight as you reach key points. Take notes on the margin and keep track of different ideas you think about during the readings. Also think about some limitations of this experiment and some future projects you may be able to do. At the end, summarize the points and think about how the author arrived at these points. Keep in mind that reading a paper is a time commitment, especially when you are first getting started. Have a time allocated to reading so you don't get distracted in between and forget the main purpose of the paper. Identifying the main purpose of the paper can be difficult sometimes. If you are having trouble, we recommend skimming the paper. Highlight the keywords that you don't understand and look them up. You can then go back and reread the paper critically and make further notes. Now, let's break down each section. The abstract is essentially a boiled down version of the paper. It provides some important background as well as an overarching conclusion statement. However, do not just limit yourself to reading the abstract. The section gives some key points, but usually will not give the reader a full understanding of the paper. The introduction of the paper often gives a lot of important background that can act as an aid when getting started. Furthermore, the introduction often identifies the hypothesis and how it will be tested, so keep a lookout for that. For the method section, try to get a picture of what was done at each step, what variables were measured, what experiments were conducted, on what. The best way to understand how the researcher tested his hypothesis is to make an outline of the procedures and the instruments used. Write down any questions you have in the margins. For the results, look carefully at the figures and the tables as they are the heart of most papers. Truly understand what the author proves with his or her results. Finally, provide some time to reflect on your paper. Ask yourself key questions like, what was the overall purpose of the research? How does the research address questions brought up by its field? Does it refute a previous study or support it? Does it validate an idea or propose a new one? Were the procedures listed appropriate for the study? For example, was an in vitro study appropriate or was an in vivo study appropriate? Were the subjects tested representative of the overall population? What are the major findings? Was enough data provided to support the hypothesis? Did any problems pop up in your mind that weren't addressed by the author? Could external factors have influenced the results? Do con the conclusions brought up seem logical? And what is further research the author could do? These are some key points to look for when reading a research paper. Hopefully this helps. Thanks, and bye.